I'm going to read some verses for you about some people that the Bible points out as being fat. And they're always bad people. Yeah. Sure. It's, it just becomes of a lack of self-control. But the Bible, there's a, there's a reason why, he, why the Lord points it out. There has to be a reason. Every word in the Bible is placed there for a reason. It's not an accident. He did it on purpose for a reason. Listen to this. People, they think about Eglon, the king of Moab. Remember in Judges 3, he was so big that when Ehud stabbed him, he stabbed, remember he tricked him, he came in and talked to him, he stabbed him in the stomach, in the belly, and the Bible says the fat closed in around the knife. Like he couldn't even pull it out. So that's, that's, that's a big person. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 32, verse number 15, speaking about a nation becoming fat, like not physically, just in general, it says, but Jeshurun waxed fat and kicked, thou art waxen fat, thou art grown thick, thou art covered with fatness, then he forsook God, which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. So it's saying when a nation becomes a nation where they're, they're just full of fatness, when they're full of just plenteous, when they're just gluttonous, when they have everything. Look, they become, look, what are one of the, the attributes of Sodom? It was the well-watered plains of Sodom. Why do you want to live in a place that's well-watered? Because you can have big crops, your animals can feed. Look, if you don't got water, you know, I don't know how in the world they got millions of people to live in Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> because the rivers there are dry. The Salt River, there's no water in it. You know what I mean? But there was water at one point, apparently, because they got a bunch of people to live there. Anyway, <laughs> you see in, in, in like, it is in, in, on, just in Earth, the places where there are water, where there are ports and rivers, that's where the populations tend to be the biggest, right? Now, I had you guys go to Proverbs 31. Let me keep going. Under eating. Now, let me say this about, about stats. Did you know that one in three adults in America... Are consider one in three adults are considered to be either highly overweight or obese. That's that's pretty bad, because we think of obese as just you just got to be like four or five hundred pounds. It doesn't necessarily have to be so. You could not look like morbidly obese, but because of your daily nutrition and because of how unhealthy you are, you can be considered obese. Okay, now uh, w one in thirteen adults are considered to have extreme obesity. He's one in 13 people. That's a lot of people. Now, diabetes. 10% of the American population is diagnosed with diabetes, with being diabetic. I have di I'm diabetic on both sides of my family. So I'm finding it. My grandma lost her vision. Almost had to lose a, a limb, I think, at one point because she was diabetic. She had to sh uh, do the insulin every day and all this type of stuff. My dad on his side, of, well, I mean, don't even know the rest of his family. My dad has di is diabetic. He has to check his blood sugar and, 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 and you know, he has to prick your fingers to check your blood sugar on the whole thing every single day, sometimes multiple points a day. If his blood sugar easily gets too high or too low, he can pass out. He can almost die. Now, that's not normal for the human body. The human body wasn't made to where one little thing would just destroy you to where you, would, you could die at, on, you know, on, a, on not eating for a couple hours. Your body should be able to run on all cylinders all the time. But diabetes. Did you know that diabetes kills more, kills way more people than breast cancer? And it says in AIDS, which I, I, that's true, but I'm not really too you know, worried about that. But <laughs> breast cancer, you know, diabetes kills more people than breast cancer. You see a lot of commercials. You see people you know, wearing their pink and, and you know, all this type of stuff to, to fight breast cancer, but nobody wants to fight diabetes. Yeah. Because diabetes is something that it takes a change of lifestyle to fix, but it's also going to take a change in lifestyle to prevent. It's better to prevent than to get yourself neck deep in diabetes and then have to dig your way out of it. 